Tell me when. <laughs> Good morning. Okay, so I figured I'd do a quick video because we have an overabundance of milk right now. So we just weaned our calf, um, Molly, and so she's off of her mother. And um, her mom is still giving us just about four gallons of milk a day. Is that right? Okay. And That's so right. Sean's the cameraman today. So I've been making yogurt because our kids go through quite a bit of yogurt. So I figured I'd give a quick um, overview of how you make a finished yogurt or how we do. Um, so this is, can you just bring the camera over here for a second? This is the yogurt when it's finished, when it comes out of the Instapot. Can you see like the whey separation on the side? All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strain all of this yogurt into, I, I have a mesh cheese bag, but I also lined my strainer with uh, coffee filters because I find the cheese bags almost, um, they almost, like, if you leave it too long, the, the yogurt will also drain out of it if the holes are too big. And so I'll line my co um, my strainer with coffee filters as well. If I seem distracted, it's because I have a child rollerblading <laughs> in my kitchen. Um, so I line my, my strainer with coffee filters. I put it in a big pot so that the whey can all drain out. And then I, I also have this cheese bag. You could use just the coffee filters. I've done that as well. And when the yogurt um, has thickened up a bit, they'll just kind of like peel off the end. But I find this a lot easier to just be able to pick up the bag afterwards. So I'm just gonna strain all of this. And then the whey, I know there's other uses of the whey, but we also have a couple of pigs that we're feeding right now. So we just take the whey and we mix it with their pig food and um, feed it to them. They're awesome for giving our scraps to. So um, this will make, once it's all strained out, almost like three containers that are similar to this um, for the kids. And then I've been, I added, the last time I made it, you can use maple syrup, you can use granulated sugar. You can use honey to sweeten it. Um, there's lots of different ways, but I had some organic cane sugar. And so I added about a little less than a cup of that. And then some, a couple of teaspoons of vanilla and they devoured it. So I just mixed that in af after it has strained, um, and just to sweeten the yogurt. Although it's wonderful plain it's great for like um i know i've used it to substitute for sour cream before on tacos um hi gabriella <laughs> and i'm actually going to just start a new batch right after this because we have um some yogurt that's getting close to a week old that i want to use up and so no. i'm gonna Try to make basically our yogurt for the week um, so that that way can you do me a favor baby can you roll a blade in the front entryway mm -hmm. okay thanks so this is how easy it is sometimes it comes out awesome sometimes something happens and it doesn't quite come out quite as awesome but you can make yogurt in an instapot you can make it, I've made it in um, a crock pot as well. I just, I like that the, well, both of them you can kind of walk away from, but the Instapot just has a little bit more of a controlled temperature. Um, so this is what I have done. Now it's all in the straining bag. And... This is gonna go into the refrigerator and you can already see, I'm gonna move this a little bit. If you look down in there, 
you can see the whey that's already starting to drain out of there. So by the time this is done, there'll be a lot more of that whey. And you can use whey in smoothies, you can use whey in pancakes. Um, I'm gonna end up feeding this to the pigs just because I ha I'm gonna have so much of it. Um, I think there's other things that you can do with it as well, but I'm still learning. So this is all ready to strain and then later on today, I'll just come back and I'll pull out the bag put it in a mixing bowl, I'll add the sweetener and vanilla, mix it up, and then I will put it in containers like this, or Oops. I have these containers that I got from Dollar Tree that you can also use as well. Um, anything like that. Some people just put them in a big jar, but I find that if I can pull one thing out in the morning and give it to the kids, that's easy. So that'll go in the fridge. And then this is kind of what we start with. Sorry, my counter is always messy. I'm not one of those people that has like a better homes and gardens, like in kitchen, which is constantly in use. And our dishwasher is currently broken and our oven. And um, so everything's done by hand and it takes a little while. For those of you that do get um, milk and you need to um, label it by the day, I found these were like super helpful. So these are just, um, my kids all labeled them and they, they work great. Um, they are just like the little tags that you can find at Walmart or at maybe at, at Dollar Tree and we just label them with the day and then we put an elastic around the, the clip there and then I can clip it around the handle or the lid of whatever I'm putting it in. Um, for these containers, I just put it around the little knob, but I have found those really helpful and reusable. Yes, Ava, where are all the eggs? Um, there's a broody hen on every single nest box, and they're like super, super broody. Like, there's a broody hen on every single nest box except for one, and that's three eggs from. I don't that. think they're all broody. I think some. No, of they land. are. Dad, okay. they're all okay. broody. I mean it. All right, I'll go. Look. They're all like going like, and they're all going like. When I try to get them. Okay. All right. Put these ones over there. All right. Here you go. What do I do with this? Put it over with the eggs. Anyhow, that's like a very good illustration of like anytime I try to do anything, there's always somebody in and out of the house. What happened to your rollerblades? <laughs> oh, okay. All right. So Tilly is giving us actually a better cream line than this, but I don't know if you can tell that this is my cream line for this um, batch of milk. Sometimes it's deeper. And so I'm just gonna take the cream off because I use the cream for, I use the cream for, for coffee, but I also use it when I'm making butter. Um, and now that we're getting enough, I'm gonna try to make ice cream soon because a friend of ours gave us um, a great ice cream container. So. I'm just going to take some of the cream and store it, whoops, store that away. You'll do the cream? I'll take care of it when you leave. Okay, but I need to put it in the container, so can you pause that for a second? <laughs> 